Should we talk about how I still can't get over Game of Thrones? <laughs> Jill, is there I'm anything therapy. else that you wanted to, to therapy for what? Uh, because I can't get over Game of Thrones. Like I, I still get angry and sad when I think about the ending. I've gotten I to understand. the point where I can say overall the show. I'm so happy I saw it. It gave me so many feelings. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it so much. So and many. Even feelings. though I disagree with where the story went in the final Don't season. Don't think you're alone. I can say that that final season was beautiful. It was visually and audibly amazing to watch and see, and some of the performances. Oh. Um, let's just give Amelia Clark the Emmy already. I'm just. I'm has just she gotten one before? She's been nominated a couple times, but has not won. What? Right? Yeah, let's give it to her. A lot yeah, of times the, the Emmys like to give people awards on their final season of things. Yes. She should get one because she agree. she really held that shit down. She killed it. The fact that she didn't she like it. the arc of her character, right? And she's and still committed. Yeah, she completely committed. And now that everything's all out, and she got to you know speak her truth about how she didn't understand how it came what they were doing when she read, the and script. she was really struggling yeah. with how she was going to, as an actor, do it, make those things work on the inside to which, rationalize which, the right like, away that whole hard scene, rights that whole scene where she makes her turn done by herself in front of a green screen she needs the emmy just for that seriously give just us all the that. emmy already we uh, are fans we are fans of Emilia Emilia, Clark. i grant you the emmy yeah you know what if the academy doesn't come through the the first inaugural chillin with jillin Awards, we probably can't call it Emmys because of copyright and stuff. Amelia Clark automatically gets the best actress for television for incredible television performance. Can can we 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 yeah. knight we knight and queen you the oh, first annual? Hell yeah. I'll call I'll call you Dame Amelia if you want. Dame I know, Amelia. I know the queen didn't give it to you, but these queens did. Dame Amelia. You heard it here first. Dame Amelia Clark. Wins Amelia the first Clark. ever Chillin' with Jillin' Incredible Actress Award. Yes! Queen! Who else do we want to give a Queen Award to? Oh my gosh, That'll be fun. so many people. I want to um, give um, the first annual Chillin' with Jillin' <laughs> Queen Phoebe Waller-Bridge Award. Oh. <laughs> she, Phoebe Waller- we, we Queen- We Queen Phoebe Waller-Bridge. <laughs> Nobody's gonna Just, want these honors. <laughs> <laughs> well- uh, Amelia Clark's publicist is going to ask us to take this down. <laughs> well, we won't. We, we won't. won't take them down. You can't make us. We're going to give you the award shadow. anyway. We will do what we want. Mm -hmm. Phoebe Wallerbridge, you get the award for being... She's, she's the Fleabag actress, right? The Fleabag creator Fleabag. and Killing Eve creator. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, you get the award for just... Just blowing my mind. Fucking awesome sauceness and saying all the shit that everyone else didn't have the mm -hmm. cunt to do. Because why are we right. saying don't have the balls to do? Fuck that. Mm. Um, you know, I, I haven't gotten through the entire flea bag season two. Season yet. two yet because Me I'm Me savoring it. Oh my god. Right. Already I just I love you. You don't want to be interrupted during it. I, I don't it. want to be interrupted, and I also, there's only six episodes, so I'm just... Gotta make it last. I just re-watched uh, season one because my husband was watching it with me, and then he was like, well, is Killing Eve any good? I was like, yeah! So now I'm watching Killing Eve with him, and um, yeah, so I'm just all up in it again, and it's just like, oh, Thank just... Thank you. <sighs> the reminders, because my husband is out of town on work again mm -hmm. all this week. Thanks, mm -hmm. Paul. It's all up to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I digress. I, um, I should stop working late and should instead watch shows that I want to watch. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. There are a lot of really great shows out there. So many. And, um. Oh, but can we, sorry, yeah. me no, just please. thinking it over. We also need to give an award to an American because we just I gave was just them thinking, to. No, I was just thinking. We the love same you, thing. Amelia and Phoebe, but we're also going to give one. Well, I've already brought this up on a different episode, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Um, and I want to give an award to um, Shrill because I think Shrill is an incredible show. Oh yeah. And um, there's an amazing conversation happen happening in that show. Mm -hmm. You know who I want to give an award to? I want to give an award to Lizzo because Lizzo's amazing. Do you know Lizzo? She's a musician. I, I, 
So Lizzo is a singer, rapper, flautist who... <laughs> I need to see her stuff. She's or a, hear it. She is incredible. She's taking over the world currently. She, mm -hmm. um, her newest single just unseated Beyonce for newest single. She uh, was at Coachella and she has blown the F up in the last little bit and everyone's kind of like, who's this chick? And it's like, yeah, she's awesome. And her whole um, kind of campaign, if you don't know her, go check her out, is all about body positivity. She is a plus size gal who is twerking in lingerie all of the time. And it is so much fun. And she has absolutely no shame about it. And it will Good. not allow any shame in her game. Good. And is, so tired uh, has the best sense of humor about all of it because, you know, she... She teases that Miss Piggy is one of her role models, her fashion icons. <laughs> and because she just is not going to have any kind of shame about it. And, I, and she's just, she's magnificent. So, Queen Lizzo, I give you a chillin', which she's really not going to care that we're giving her maybe, one. Maybe, I mean, maybe. This, maybe this it'll... week her tweet, her tweet was, I have no interest in being the next Beyonce because I worked really fucking hard to be myself. Mm, <laughs> no. And anywhere that you can have that message with women is an incredible, well, for anybody, for anybody, you know, women have had to fight really hard to be, you know, respected equally as women, but I, that is... The message continues to be over and over again. When you see that, that's equally empowering to everybody. It's, you know, and I think that that's also an amazing thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I would like to give another award to Mindy Kaling. Yes! Mindy. Mindy. Hey, what is the she, new, her new... She gave little, me one of my first I, jobs. Well, I mean, maybe she didn't make the decision. In fact, I think it might have been Dave Stassen and Ike Barinholtz who made the decision. I um, great. I don't know. I love those two also. But yeah, uh, she. I one of my first jobs was on her show, and I love her. She's so, she's doing it. She's crushing it. Queen Mindy Kaling. Queen Mindy Kaling. We crown you, you with the Chillin' with Jillin' Award. Chillin' with Jillin' Award, best female American creator queen. Yes. Creator queen. I like it. Yes. Queen creator. We're gonna work on it, but you still win. You know what? In fact. As part of the prize, you get to decide what it's called. I think that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We should. You, your people will talk to our people, mm -hmm. and you can get back to us. Yeah. I think that Ava DuVernay. Ava. Yeah. Deserves a queen award for sure for mm -hmm. just being the most awesome person out there in the world. Being awesome. Just being. Just being awesome. awesome. I think being awesome for everyone in the world. Queen Ava DuVernay. Mm hmm. Chillin' with Jill Award for being awesome yeah. in the world. The awesome creator content. <laughs> we seem <laughs> drunk, but we're not. We're just... I've, I've finished my LaCroix. My LaCroix. You know what? It may be time, though, Dylan, for our... Woo! <laughs> All right. Whoa, I, indeed. It may be time for our You pokey. should tell us who you want to give an award to. And what we should... Should we... If we should keep the name Chillin' with Jillin' Awards, because I think that it's a good name. But you should tell us who you would want to crown right. an award for in your life. Who would you nominate for an award and mm -hmm. give a queen award to? Right. Or king. Or whatever whatever. Uh, or maybe there's like. a different thing that isn't um, that isn't gender specific. Right. Uh, that's why I said I like to think that queen isn't like. gender specific at all. Because everybody can be a queen. I mean, because I agree. queens actually do that. Kings are really specific about their shit, but queens actually don't at all. Queens are actually all encompassing. So yeah. maybe that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. Cheers to that. Let's go eat some pokey. Boom.